yeah, I wasn't here on time. So I'm kind of punished right now. But uh, this poem is dedicated to my father. One day, a little girl asked me if I believed in monsters. And I smiled. I then grabbed the truth by its collar. I wrestled it to the ground. I tucked it deep underneath my arm and I said, Love, you know monsters aren't real. And it sounds like this. I wish that my sentences came with receipts so I could take back my words. I wasn't being completely honest. You see, when I spoke to her, I damn near choked on a secret that's been stapled to the inside of my mouth for longer than I can remember. Not only do I believe in monsters, but I've seen them whisper themselves into existence. I heard they caught nightmares on the islands of the innocent and then linger in dark corners, preying on the unsuspecting. Somehow, they figured out how to crawl through eight millimeter film and walk backwards, straight into the dreams of those who have never, ever, ever been scared to sleep. I believe in monsters like I believe in oxygen. So tell me, how big is your closet? Your home space is really neat the bed that you shake in the middle of the night, you vampire. You werewolf in sheep's clothing. You swallow halos and spit out nooses. How can I not believe in monsters when I see men like you walking with their knuckles, scraping against the concrete that they stand purse to the screams of assaulted women and then squeeze themselves into costumes that fool the public into thinking that you were human? How dare you have the audacity to impersonate me? Well, how dare you pretend as though there isn't a mother out there scrubbing the inside of her thighs until they turn stop sign red, trying to erase your fingerprints from her skin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got it. Got it. Trying to erase your fingerprints from her skin. How can your results make you believe that your blood is just as blue as mine? When you speak, I can smell Dante's Inferno on your breath. Mm. And I spent the last 10 years of my life thinking of paper ways to send you. I'm sorry. I spent the last 10 years of my life wondering how you escaped from hell and wasted far too many nights thinking of paper ways to send you back. I caught galaxies on the inside of my throat just to make your world a little easier for me to swallow, but I can't stand the taste of your behavior. Every time you cross my path, I get the sudden urge to tie you to a chair, cover you in gasoline, and set your body on fire. Granted, I am no bad housing, but I've seen enough horror movies to know how to get rid of motherfuckers like you. And what hurts me the most is I know that even if I killed you, there are still millions of monsters walking this earth pretending to be men. Woo!